What's up you guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot to do. We have a big, we have a big task ahead of us here. We have a, a very large unboxing. So I actually this month for November have the Ipsy Glam Bag, the Glam Bag Plus, and the Glam Bag X, which is a collab with Huda. The first two I did receive in PR, and I do receive those in PR from Ipsy. The Glam Bag X I bought with my own money, but I figured it would be fun to do them all together. So we're just gonna unbox everything, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts, and yeah, I don't wanna spend too long in the intro because we have a lot of products to go through, but before we get into the video, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the little post notification bell if you like relatable beauty content and want more videos from me. So. Let's just get into this very large unboxing. <sighs> We're gonna have to roll up our sleeves to this one and bear with me, I literally film my videos on a card table and it's anytime I like, these are very large boxes and anytime I move anything too much, this whole camera gets shaken. So I'm gonna do my best here. I need a new table, but let's start with this big boy here, which is the Glam Bag and Glam Bag X. Glam Bag? Am I sick? Glam Bag X for November. So like I said, I do receive these through the Ipsy Creator Program. I did not pay for these bags, but um, I did get some exciting products. I don't get to customize anything, but the theme this month is Royal Treatment. Your throne awaits leather on ultra moisturizing formulas adorned with accessories and indulge in extra dessert because this month it's all about you. This month be a main character. So the bags this month are kind of like royal looking. I like this emerald green. This is the glam bag which is their original like bag they came out with. It is $13 a month. You get to customize one product. Like I said I don't get to customize but um, you get six products, I believe. I usually get six products. The first product I have is from a couple, there's a couple brands in here I'm not really familiar with, but that's kind of the fun of it. You get to know, you get to try out more brands. So this is a lip oil from Sophia and Mabel. It's the tinted lip oil in the shade Jellyfish. It's like a pinky golden shimmery lip oil. That could be fun. I like a good lip oil. And then we have a product from Seraphine Botanicals, which a lot of my friends on Instagram have gotten stuff from this brand and liked it, but I haven't tried anything. This is the Camel Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer. So that's what it looks like here. That could be like a good travel primer. And honestly, I got, love a good luminizing primer. I'm not gonna open it right now because it looks like very difficult to open, but that looks nice. Then we have an eye cream. It's from Abel Skincare, which I think I've received a moisturizer from this skincare brand, either in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. It's the Ultra Collagen Eye Rescue Therapy, which I actually really like when eye creams are either in a pump or a squeezy tube so you don't have to dunk your finger in there every time. It's a lot less messy, a lot more sanitary. And I do have quite a lot of eye creams to go through, so I will report back when I try this, but. It's winter, it's dry, and I could always use more moisturizing skincare. The next product is from Brio Geo. It is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It's just a little mini size, which would be nice for travel. It is one ounce, though. I feel like this could be good for a couple uses. I actually have not tried this one, I don't believe. Brio Geo did send me a few products, but this was not part of it, and this is like one of their long-standing cult favorites, so I'm really excited to try this, and I love a good hair mask. Then we have my first ever product from Glossier. It is their Milky Jelly Cleanser. Um, it's a 0.5 ounce, so pretty small. I haven't opened this up yet. But it'll be a nice travel package and it is a pretty matte packaging. And I know like the full size of this um, is pretty packaging and a lot of people like this. It smells like rose. So that'll be nice. I'm always looking for travel cleansers because I feel like I go through them the fastest. And then the last one is from a brand I love. It's from Kinship. It is their mint mud mask. I love Kinship and I love a good mud mask. Um, it says it's a clarifying deep pore detox mask with lactic acid, kaolin clay, jojoba, and moringa. This would be another good. I like having a clay mask when I travel for when my pores get kind of congested and 
mad that I'm out of my routine. And this is like a perfect little couple application bottle that I can get a sense of whether I like the product. And honestly, a full size mask takes a long time to go through. So I appreciate a mini because this probably has more uses out of it than you think. So that was my entire glam bag. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm probably most excited about the skincare um, and the hair mask from Briogeo. I really am excited to try the Glossier Cleanser and the Kinship Mud Mask. It's a great way to try products and I love the little minis. All right, then we have my Glam Bag X, which comes in a little bag like this. It's like continuing on with the royal theme. This is like a royal blue. So the Glam Bag X is a similar subscription box, but you get five full-size products. It is $28 a month, and you get to customize three of the products. So that is really nice, but I did not customize any of these. The first product is from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, I never tried their eyeshadows, but this is the... Venice Simplin Express Palette. I feel like they're all like kind of like city themed, a, a, you know, a place and time themed, and they all have really pretty imprints. Um, as you can see, like every shadow has a different like imprint on it. It's very, very beautiful. It kind of seems like a 1920s theme, and it goes well with the bag. I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I just don't know if these colors really speak to me. So I might put this in a giveaway or give this to a family or friend because I just don't want it to sit in my collection. If I'm not really going to use it, but I like that this has some different colors in it. It's really lightweight and it's not plastic, which I really like. It's, it's really nice. The next product in the bag is from Kitsch. It is some scrunchies, which I am a scrunchie connoisseur. They're pretty like... I don't know, like big, and I don't know what you call this material. But there are one, two, three, four, five scrunchies, all nude, and I'm scrunchie obsessed. So I will absolutely use these, and I like seeing things that are different other than like skincare and makeup in the bag because this is stuff I will really get use out of. Was this sticking out the entire time, the little hanger thing? Hopefully not. Hopefully my hair was covering it. <laughs> Alright, next we have a product that I have been wanting to try for a really long time because it's a cult favorite for a lot of people. It is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, so it is supposed to be like taken off really easily and not smudge or flake. This has like a cult following, this mascara does. It's very weighted and hefty metal packaging. People seem to really love it or really hate it. I don't have the most amazing lashes, but I am using a lash serum right now, so I'm really excited to finally give this a try. Then we have a new release from Il Maquillage. It is their Dirty Talk lipsticks, their matte lip color, and I have the shade Dirty Talk, or no, it's the Dirty Talk lipsticks, and this is the shade Arianda. If you can see, the packaging on these looks really, really pretty. It's like got Il, Maqui Il Maquillage embossed in there, and then you scroll it up, and it's a really pretty lipstick bullet. Um, let me swatch this shade here. Oh yeah, that's a pretty like rosy toned color. That's my type of shade, I'm glad I got that shade. And this is a new release, so this is a really exciting to get in the box. And I've tried one other thing from Il Maquillage, it was their mascara, and I really, really love their mascara. So I'm excited about that. And then that was only four products, and then I actually got some things from Ipsy Refreshments. So I don't know if this is supposed to be the fifth product. They forgot my fifth products, because Ipsy Refreshments is kind of like a separate subscription where you can get like body care, like lotion, razors, all that kind of stuff. Um, but they sent a shampoo and conditioner, um, and the Tarte Lavender sent their sup superb strength shampoo and conditioner. So happy to have that. And then they also sent a refill of razors, which I have that in my shower right now and I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I like it as much as Billy, but I am enjoying it. Just kind of interesting because I feel like this is a sub separate subscription, but maybe that this counts as one of our products this month. But yeah, I'm really happy with all we got in the Glam Bag Plus. I'm most excited about the scrunchies and the mascara for sure this month. All right, and then we have this big old Glam Bag X. So Glam Bag X is one that I pay for. It's a quarterly box. It's supposed to be a more luxury box. I've gotten one in the past, which I have unboxed on this channel. It was the Halsey collab Glam Bag X. I think this is like their only their third one I've gotten. This is my second one that I've ordered. So this one is a collab with Huda. Um, this box is $55, so if you, it's just like 40 some dollars if you pay for it on top of your regular Ipsy subscription, and then you don't get your regular glam bag that month. So this is pay with my own money. 
I really was impressed by the collab I got with Halsey. There was a lot of great brands in there. I got a lot of about face brands. I got like Herbivore, Volition. I got an Aether Beauty Quad. I would just, I got Charlotte Tilbury. There was so many good products in that box that when I saw them post the little teaser for the Huda box, I was like, this looks amazing. They had like a lot of, I've never tried anything from Huda, but so many people love them. So I was like, okay, great. Huda Beauty products. They had advertised a lot of Wishful products, which is her skincare brand. And then one of the Kaali perfumes, which is her perfume brand. So I was like, that would be so cool to try a lot of those products at a discounted price because I mean, they're high end products that are available at Sephora. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not as impressed. I'll just say it. I'm not as impressed with this box as I have been. Don't get me wrong, it's it's a good box, but it's not, they didn't give me anything that they advertised really. Let's just get into this box. Before we get into this, let me just throw up a few pictures um, of what was advertised and what like I found on Instagram and all that stuff. I'll put it up here. First thing that's not part of the subscription, I, I think I redeemed it with points, is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Lip Balm. It was like 600 points and a lot of people love this so I had that and that made its way into this box. So we'll start with like what I'm kind of least excited about. It just seemed like the first two are kind of filler products that everyone else I talked to in this box also got. Um, it's the This is the Gold Fadden MD Needleless Line Smoothing Concentrate. Alright. This is fine. It's like a nice skincare brand. I think this is supposed to be like you know, like a medical grade skincare brand, but once again, not a skincare brand that was advertised in here. And then everyone I talked to that got this box, this was like one of their first products they got and we did not get to choose that. Um, so just like, okay, that's, that's fine. And then the next thing that everyone I talked to also received is this PMD cleanser. It's a smart facial cleansing device. I've seen these in subscription boxes before. I've had a Clarisonic before. This is really nice. They're expensive. They're like $100. And it is nice to get in this box. But like I said, not something that was advertised at all. Like, I, I, I just don't understand. I'm happy to try it, but it's just not like really what I was looking for in this box. But like I said, I've never tried a PMD cleanser thing. And... It'll be nice to try. The next product was one that was advertised that I saw on there. It's from Sunday Riley, so that's always an exciting brand because it's very high end. It's the Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum, an AHA BHA infused rinse off serum to clarify the scalp of product buildup, excess oil, dead skin, and pollution for a deeper, healthier looking scalp and refreshed hair. And I really love the bottle, it's super cute. So I use a lot of dry shampoo and I don't wash my hair every day. So this is something I would use and I'm glad it's not a leave-in because I'm really bad about leave-in products or remembering to use them. So that is fine. Then the next product is from Rare Beauty, which is very exciting because I really enjoy Rare Beauty. But I don't know, maybe I just got unlucky with this box. It's a product I already have a mini of. It is the With Gratitude Lip Balm. With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. So this is a shade that I got in a mini set right when Rare Beauty came out. It's like a pretty kind of brown nude. It's like their brown nude shade of their lip balm. I like this lip balm. I don't die over it. It has a nice like metal closure packaging. I might include this in a giveaway because I haven't even finished my mini. This is nice, but like what are the chances that the one product I get and like the shade I get is what I already own and I don't even own that many Rare Beauty products. So like that was a little bit of a bummer. Not that like Ipsy would know that, but just a little bit of a bummer, you know. And then we have another product, which is a nice product, but it's like one that I already got in my Glam Bag Plus. So it's another shade of the Il Maquillage Dirty Talk lipstick in the shade Elwa. So this is a more pinky nude shade. You already saw the packaging. Let's swatch it next to the other one. And as you can see, like they're super similar. So this is the one from earlier. I feel like you can't really even tell those apart, honestly. So like nice, but they're very similar. Two uh, very similar shades of the same lipstick formula, which in their defense, like these two are separate subscriptions, like one's through the creator program and one is one I bought. So like 
that just is what it is but like what are the chances that I get like almost identical shades but I guess I have to try them on the lips sorry if this last part is coming off a little bit you know like complaining and negative um, but I just want to give you guys an honest review and if you're spending $55 on a subscription box and if you're gonna spend your own money on it I want to make sure you know you're gonna get your money's worth and be honest with you guys the next one is another product that I'm well excited to try it's not really a brand that was advertised for the box this is the by Terry hyaluronic hydro powder this was a product that I picked um, this is in this is like a colorless powder from them and I've heard a lot of good reviews on this and by Terry is a very luxury brand but when I got the choice for this it was like well there was no other like Huda wishful or Kaali like options like none of her brand was really an option so yeah i did receive two huda products first one was um the i think i did pick this one it's the overachiever concealer in the shade meringue 4n they picked the shade for me and i believe this is a pretty good shade i like the matte kind of soft black packaging it has a metal applicator tip and that's what it looks like it's definitely like a thicker more full coverage formula but it looks really hydrating and creamy so I'm excited for that I have not put it on my face yet and then the last Huda product I received it is from their her haze obsessions line this is the purple haze palette purple haze obsessions palette I did swatch a few of these colors I think a couple of her haze palettes were options in this box and those do look stunning but looking at the reviews of all the palettes she has, the Haze Obsessions palettes have the worst reviews on Sephora. So it's like, well, are we just trying to get rid of these because they got poor reviews? I haven't tried them on my eyes. They look really pretty and maybe, maybe it's just a few reviews that are bad. But like, to pay for this box, to have like it be a Huda collab and get like, a palette that got bad reviews, a concealer that is like fine, but like I didn't really get any of her other brands, any other products that are super hyped up. I don't know. It's a nice box, but like I was expecting to be as excited about it as I was about the Halsey box. You can go watch that video because I got a lot of really good products in there. I'm just not as excited about these products and I wish I would have got more Huda products because it was supposed to be like a Huda box. So that is all I received in all these three Ipsy boxes. Sorry if it was a little bit negative, but you got to be honest. And if I'm spending my money, I want to like the products. So let me know down below in the comments if you think that these boxes are worth it. What do you think of the Glam Bag X this month? I'm really not sure about it, as you can tell. But like this video, subscribe to my channel for more um, beauty unboxings because I love to do them. And we will see you in my next video. Bye.